hello guys how are you hope your easter is treating you well mine is good also and uh yeah we thank god for everything and uh for gifting us this life up to now okay so guys this is another reaction video and i would also want to thank new members who have uh, recently joined the channel i want to tell you guys thank you so much you are super welcome here this is a very big family yes and uh, for the returning subscribers thank you as always i really appreciate you okay and uh, also for not uh, skipping the ads before we continue guys you can just consider giving this video a like i would really love that anyway so guys you know me i jump right straight into it so guys today um there is a specific person that i want to react on i have actually never reacted on this person until today the reason why is uh, one it's because he was begging for someone to react over him or at him okay he said uh, why these people are no longer reacting on me they don't react on me anymore but when i was in yabuhansa they were reacting on me so um okay you wanted attention i'm giving you the attention that you want they, they react you've seen uh they always react at it's nasto uh, me they I, I think they left me yeah, they so you know uh, they left me because um i don't know why but i know when i go back home they will be into me <laughs> because one on your video you are speaking about me indirectly chef matiko and saying oh marwa invited someone and then blah 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 whatever nonsense that you keep on saying because some some people come they will tend to be good but at the end of the day they turn on they turn on you like crazy so you don't know their plans i've seen it from my brother marwa they come they make videos they get shout outs then they go they react on him or they go they start to say uh he's he practices witchcraft or he gave he gave them i don't know what at what every day or I saw another story which I will be talking about tomorrow. So please watch uh, this uh, the video about tomorrow. Anyway, <laughs> uh, dude, one, I like your reaction video. And at the same time, I dislike your reaction video because um, you want it to suit you. You, you, you want to use uh, your platform not to give a blanket reaction. You are actually a reactor by now. You should know that. You are just a reactor in denial. You are a reactor in denial. Stop saying, you, you keep on saying that uh, uh, this is the last reaction video and uh, I don't do this normally. I do vlog. No, bro, 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 relax, relax, relax. You are now a reactor. You've done very many reaction videos, now almost four. And uh, you promised us another one. You're a reactor. Yeah? You're a reactor. Sawa, sawa. Kau kijua weni reactor. And uh, one thing that I'll tell you about this reaction is this, yeah? It doesn't matter who you are reacting about. As long as you are reacting about those people that are in Yabohansi, you are a negative reactor. As you can see, your comment section is full of people calling you a negative reactor who is reacting against Ayamarwa and against fellow villagers. Aki uko Spain na huna content umebo viewers na hizi ma reaction zako. It's crazy. Why are you fighting your own people? So these are people from the comment. Chef Matiko is now a negative reactor against his own community. Okay. Stop involving yourself in drama that you are not part of. What exactly are you addressing here? Calm down and understand that we, your supporters, watch your content to rest our minds from the drama. The chef responded, I respect everyone's suggestions, but I am the one who decides what to do and what not to post in my channel. You should understand YouTube is a business and we all want profits in exchange of time. If you are keen, you must have realized how many clicks I've got. And honestly, I'm from Nyabohansi and I must be part of everything going on. No, bro, you can't be part of everything. You just need views like you've said here. So that's why you are mentioning Nyabohansi. The views are not viewing in Spain. 
Come on, let's be realistic, bro. It's all business, nothing personal. All right, let's move on, guys, to the second comment or to the other comment. Welcome to Reaction, brother. Remember, there's no positive reaction. Reaction is reaction. You have no content beside using your village in the title for views. You are also reacting to people in your village. Without Marwa and his family, nobody in that village is known. Why don't you produce content in Spain? No shared, but your spouse is not a people person. Maybe now she's trying to fake, but it's your business and I have right to my opinion in this public space. Oh yeah, we have a right. Me too, me too. I have a right to the opinion of whatever is published here. It's our content. It's no longer his, man. Okay? You are now team reactors. Welcome. <laughs> You are a reactor supporting a certain team in the village. Your team asks for donation. Let the other team also do their thing. Exactly, guys. This guy is doing reaction to bash the other team while he does not bash his own team. Okay? The same exact thing that Marwa does in his village while criticizing people who ask for donations. He wants a specific group to ask, but not the other. Same that is happening here glad other people are also seeing this marwa is the biggest hater ever i've been following him for seven years when i saw his true character exposing people on video he only gives shout outs to their to other youtubers because he knows his subscribers will reward him with more donations and because he has no content in the village so he finds content by letting people beg for donations you, brother Chef Matiko, you have a wife that genuinely loves you. Roshio only wants Marwa for his money and fame. Just ignore him, bro. Hey, <laughs> you guy, my guy, are you seeing this? <laughs> so, stop forcing yourself to be a positive reactor. <laughs> ah, okay. So, basically, one, you're doing good reaction because it's neutral, it's balanced. I love that about it. But at the same time, you are biased. There are some people that you know very well as coming from people, but you don't want to mention that. You don't want to give those ones as, as examples. You are only using that to express towards the ones that you hate. Yeah? We all know that you don't like Mike Ventures. So your reaction is basically targeting Mike Ventures, fellow the boy, indirectly. And you don't want it to be public that you those are the people that you are criticizing. And they help uh, the needy. All right. Number three, and team charity, some of them are team scammers. And, uh, and, uh... But we know you are criticizing those ones. But you don't want to criticize the others. So that makes you a hypocrite, number one. Okay. If you want to do reaction, do it on a blanket slate. Do it hall don't spare some people don't even spare that marwa who is your friend you're seeing some things that he's doing and they're not good talk about him say it the way they are sawa sawa you have already been called a hater you have already been told that some of the, your subscribers are going to unsubscribe from your channel because you have started doing reaction videos and you are reacting against your brothers in the village Chef, 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 you keep on saying that you are not a reactor, you don't do reactions, and you're even categorizing people, you're saying that uh, we have uh, positive reactors, we have negative reactors, then we have team vloggers, then we have team, is that team what? Team normal vloggers, team, and then uh, team, team what? Charity. <laughs> so you categorize yourself as uh, team vloggers bro what you're doing is not vlogging what you're doing is reacting and your fans are not having any of that <laughs> i saw you even gave it to one of your subscribers who said that uh, they will unsubscribe and you said uh, you it is your channel and you're going to do whatever you want on your channel Bro, that is what I keep saying every day and they label me arrogant for saying that. That it is my channel and I do on my channel whatever I want. Now, expect those names very soon. So, you guy, what you're doing there is it's called reaction. Okay? And uh, don't call yourself a vlogger when you are talking about things that are happening in Yabuhanse. That is reacting. 
all right i know i know um it, you, you're saying you don't you nyabohanse is part of you and you have to talk about nyabohanse yeah it's true you come from nyabohanse so everything that happens in nyabohanse also concerns you because that is where you come from you come from nobody can deny that it's your it's your birthright nyabohanse is your village it's your birthright but bro <laughs> can you just admit the fact that your vlogging is not doing very well in spain and that's why you have to come back to nyabohanse whether it's reacting whether it's reacting positively as you call it or negatively or whatever but you must mention nyabohanse for your views to go because the views are not viewing when you are doing your normal vlogs and that's why you have to I, you don't like reacting bro that is the truth you don't like it you don't like criticizing your friends those ones in the village you are doing that because you want the views and i don't know why people don't get this i say this youtube is business and i've seen you saying it and i have always said it it's business my friend this is business and you are looking at the business side of it if you are vlogging about you going to the market cooking you know like doing stuff with your wife and the views are not viewing what do you do next you go back to nyabohanse <laughs> talk about nyabohanse so that the views can view chef matiko that is a business strategy i know you are going to disagree for the sake of disagreeing but that is a fact what you are doing is because you want to attract those views back and that is the reason why you are reacting and on your reactions you are mentioning nyabohanse okay so bro cut it you can just start reacting full time this place is too big for all of us <laughs> you said nobody is reacting on you now i'm reacting on you okay i'm now reacting on you okay now and i want to tell you this yeah um you had said that um you are going to call your brother your so called brother that is sejo sejo media <laughs> the one who wants to die because no donations are coming in you're going to call him and confirm if what he said about joyce is true or false so my question to you is do you remember when sejo reacted on you do you remember when Sergio reacted on you after you released your first reaction video and saying uh, actually condemning your fellow YouTubers from Nyabohanse for scamming allegations? Do you remember what Sergio said about you? He lied and said a lot of things and how jealous you are and what a lot of things. So, how do you expect him to tell you the truth? Hmm? How do you expect him to tell you the truth about that, bro? Unless you are lying to yourself, then go ahead and do that. Okay? Unless you are lying to yourself, go ahead and do that. Because we both know that Sergio is the type of man who can say anything to get what he wants. Who can he doesn't care what he says, whether it's true or false. He doesn't even if if it's not true, if it's false he doesn't say it as an opinion he says it as that is how it is so that people can watch and you expect that guy to tell you the truth when he even lied on you you yourself or you are in denial <laughs> anyway enough of that chef matiko what i can say is i love how you are correcting your village boys and whatever the things that you're saying and by by the way you know what don't be afraid to say my name you can just say my name it's all over the place because when, whenever you are saying that uh, oh you know like my brother marwa he welcomed some of the people and now they turned against him they are now reacting on him come on be a big boy be a man don't speak in tongues just tell it as it is tell it as a t as it is man Okay, come on, when you mean I'm doing this reaction on you. I'm not afraid to say that there is this guy in Spain. No, you, Chef Matiko. Anyway, all in all, um, I love what you're doing. I love how you are reacting. But do it better next time. Put it on 
a blanket level. Don't do it. Don't be marwa. Don't. Chef Matiko, what you're doing, what you're trying to do is being marwa. You're criticizing those ones that you don't like, and those ones that you like, you're not criticizing them. That's wrong. That is wrong. Anyway, enough of Chef Matiko. <laughs> Let's move on with our reaction. <laughs> okay, guys, a lot of drama in the village. It's Ernest Masubo one, Max one. Hey, I've seen a lot of <laughs> guys. Remember, I told you, I told you this, and I'm, I'll keep on saying this. If you guys are paying for Netflix, then you hate your life. If you are paying for Netflix, you hate your life. Because why should I pay for Netflix when I have free drama on the internet? So guys, anyway, <laughs> there are these guys who are doing reaction videos. Uh, Masubo One is doing a reaction. Is doing reaction video. Ernest is doing reaction videos. Ernest, kama utaki kutokea kwa camera unapita hivi. Hivi nyuma utatokea. So labda upite mbele. Okay, so Masubo One, Ernest, Max One, all of all of those people are doing reactions, and they've been great friends for a very long time. And uh, they have been reacting very well until apparently, according to them, this is according to them, it's not me, it's according to them, money came in between and money caused all the troubles that they are going through. To an extent, uh, they are calling each other names, they are accusing each other of the crimes that each other did not apparently commit. And I'm like, okay, so... <laughs> uh, why are they fighting? Ernest, why? Why are you fighting? Masubo, why are you fighting? <laughs> Max One, why? Why are you guys fighting? You know, one thing that you, you guys <laughs> do not realize is that uh, when, when you do that, you're giving other people those reactors, uh, the, the so-called positive reactors, you're giving them, you are literally give the, giving them guns. And telling them use this use our guns to shoot us they are enjoying man they are enjoying with what you're doing with yourselves I'm telling you okay what I can advise you guys is this you can be like me you can be like me when I decided to do this reaction I said I told myself one thing that I have realized is that uh, this friends the so-called friends, the so-called what, the so-called, I don't know. These people are not there because they are there, but most of them are there because of what they can get from you or because of how they can use you. So, the best thing you can do is, whenever you are doing something, do it on your own. Okay? Do it on your own. You can have friends. Okay? You can have friends. It's okay to have friends, but you can also have limitations. Okay, I've even forgotten where I was. I had to pause because uh, there were some people who were passing here talking and talking and talking. Okay, they were literally talking to me, so I had to pause a bit. Yep, so what I was trying to say is this. Have friends but uh, do your reactions independently analyze your videos independently you know without relying on another person that way you have freedom to do what you want when you want and how you want it you don't have to seek instructions from anyone even these even our subscribers that are watching us now okay even our subscribers my subscriber cannot call me and tell me Nairobi teacher, I want you to react on this video. No, they cannot do that. What they can do is that they can give me that information and I verify that information and I choose whether to react on it or not. Independence. Independence is key. If you are not independent, there is no way that you will do things freely because you'll always be like, Okay, what will A say, what will B say, what will D say, what will D say, E say. Just the same way with people who are under the umbrella of Marwa. Those people, 
There are things they can say, there are things they cannot say. They are filtered. Who wants to live a filtered life? Why would you want to live a filtered life? And that is the kind of things that you guys are doing. Masubo Ernest Max. That is the kind of life that you guys are living. Because instead of you can focus on your independent niche, independent reaction. When I watch a video, how I will interpret that video is not the same way that Masubo will interpret. It's not the same way that Ernest will interpret. It's not the same way that Getanyi or AM or on Trenting or Black Beauty or Modesta or the so-called positive reactors will interpret. We all have our different interpretation of videos and that's what makes it beautiful. That is what makes it beautiful. The ability to interpret and process information on your own without a different opinion which comes in and sway your thoughts on that particular video. Okay? So, the way that you react is actually dependent on your own self and how you watched that video yourself. Not the way other people say or think or influence your reaction. Don't allow that. And that is the reason, uh, and if uh, you guys do that, you will find yourselves living happily ever after. <laughs> if that ever exists. Anyway. Okay, guys, there is also another video that I wanted to talk about. And this was a video of Marwa's wife. Marwa's wife was saying that she does not earn income from YouTube because youtube demonetized her channel okay it is true youtube demonetized her channel because well i played the videos actually you know when you play three videos and there is no ad you that is a confirmation that her channel was indeed demonetized but it was entirely her fault for that channel to be demonetized because the excuse that she gave was utterly garbage to me that was garbage so you are saying you had problems with the requesting for your pin because the address that you could have put on that video could have come from uh, you could have given your mom's address okay fine what is the problem with that? I can also give my address as someone who lives in Argentina or someone who lives in the UK. And the pin will go to the address that I have provided in the UK. And what happens when, it, when, that ha when, when I give that address? When the pin gets there, whoever the person that will receive that pin will send it to me because it's just digits. It's just digits that you dial in and that's it. That, that confirms that indeed the address that you gave is valid. Why didn't you do that? Maybe you, oh, you, you had your own agenda because lately, lately people are coming up, not even lately, it's been there. But now you are also coming up with stories. And those stories are the stories that we are trying to crush. Sawa sawa. Those stories, some of them are authentic, some of them are manufactured. So the question is, which one is yours, Rocio? Which one is yours? Is your story authentic or is your story manufactured to get sympathy from people? Which one is which? Or is it that you did not know that you can do that? But again, I fail to understand if you did not know that you can do that and still get your pin. You are living with a YouTube guru who has traveled over 70 countries, interacted with multiples and hundreds of YouTubers. I'm sure he knows what could have been done there for you to get your pin. Anyway, it's uh, just speculation. <laughs> Because uh, we don't know your motive. Nobody knows. You are the only person who knows your motive. Okay? You are the only person who understands why you did what you did or why you said what you said or why you didn't give out that address so that you can be sent your pin for your channel to be monetized again. 
and of which you can still do that just in case now you didn't know thank me for this free information masterclass hey and you guys are selling masterclass and you don't know all that what is contained in that masterclass guys if anybody bought marwa's masterclass can you please tell me what entails in that masterclass because i'm sure those are some of the things that those are some of the information that are supposed to be contained in the master class anyway whatever <laughs> so guys as i summarize or as i finish up remember our dear brother sejo sejo has decided to pull down the video sejo has pulled down the begging video he will say again that Nairobi teacher is the reason why Nairobi teacher talked to YouTube so that YouTube pulled down the video. That is what he said in one of his videos. That I pulled down his video. I, the liar, that the lying in that guy. And you know guys, one thing that you're supposed to know is this. When someone pulls down your video, YouTube al always gives you information that, um, let's say Nairobi teacher, Hello Nairobi teacher, YouTube has pulled down your video because Sejo Media filed a complaint report on a copyright strike or a community guideline strike and we had to remove your video. Did that guy put that here? No, he didn't. And his loyal robots believed that nonsense so now who are you going to blame for the removal of your begging video who are you going to blame or is it that uh, the advice that i gave was adhered to or it was hard you know because i had told you that uh, you ca your friends can call you they can tell you to pull down that video and then when you pull out that, that video they can help you financially in whatever way that they can so is it that that is what happened and that's the reason why you pulled down the video please Sejo in your next video ex explain to us what happened to that video or the donations were too much that you cannot even com continue receiving more donations after that video hmm? or it was the head that came and not hate that is what you call it you call it hate but we call it facts is it that the people told you to work or sell your car and you felt like okay these people are hating me so i have to pull down i'm just speculating i don't know if that is the truth or not but i'm just wondering why did you pull down your video the video that you worked so hard you even had to walk a very long distance from your home to Maja's place to shoot that video you had to edit you you know that is a resource <laughs> anyway whatever the reason you yourself you're the only person who knows the reason as to why you did that okay moving on from that <laughs> let's talk about David Jr.'s accusation of someone who has been DMing his girlfriend, Casta Official. <laughs> yeah. Okay, the statement from David Jr. himself, he said that the person who is doing that, he is a very, very close member. I'm very disappointed so much because she never told to use her because she knows her worth she knows her worth even the people that you always see these days they tend to be so close to us guys they're just guys if i tell you something even others they have wives they are content creators but they have wives but they still even dm my girlfriend which is crazy which is crazy and they tend to be so close to my family you know they tend to be so close to my family they're just wicked, wicked, wicked. That's why you never see me with them, guys, at all, at all, at all, at all. They are never happy. They are never happy. Guys, 
I've never talked about my previous relationship. Fear those content creators who tend to be so close, so close to my family. Fear them at all, at all. There is another one who was trying even to talk bullshit. I'm so sorry to, to use that name. Even I was so shocked, like my girlfriend told me, like, he's always in his DMs and he has a wife, you know? Very shameful, very shameful. Guys, I'm so sorry, but I'm just speaking my mind. I'm just speaking the way he Of a friend of the family and he pretends to be so close with the family. But what they are actually doing is that he is in boxing caster every single day. And the guy is married. So, guys... You should ask yourself who is this guy who is this guy that keeps on dming caster official every single day and he's married and he's close to the family okay the people who are close to marua <laughs> the people who are close to marua the friends not if we talk about family members we can say uh, baby uh, hello baby but hello baby is not a family member uh, hello baby is a family member so friends my Yugno friend, is he married? No. Chased the wife again, like he chased the first one that I knew. So, my Yugno out of the picture. Maja, is he married? No. He's, he's not married, he's still stranded, he doesn't even know what to do with the episodes of the wives' episodes because people were tired with those uh, nonsense scripts. So, Maja out. Who else do we have here? Burundian Traveller. Burundian Traveller is so much entangled with uh, Diana Kemi and they are busy playing husband and, and wife, which is a script, of course. So, are they married? No. So, Burundian is out. Cloud Joseph. Cloud Joseph is also busy playing husband and wife with Minhawi, which is also another script, another lie. So they are also out. So who is left here? Nasty, nasty, nasty. Aye. And I saw someone, my dear sister, Ella Suitable from uh, Italy, did a video on that. And I was like, Ella, how did you know this? Like, how, how, how? So, <laughs> nasty is in boxing cast official. He wants to be an item with Casta official and Casta is the wife to be to Devi Jr. What an embarrassment. And guys, you know the beautiful thing is this. I keep on telling you people. They will keep on exposing themselves as we talk about them here. They expose themselves. We talk about it. They expose themselves. We talk about it. So Devi Jr. was super angry and like... You know, guys, you know how he does it? You know, guys, I don't like these people from my village. That's why I just stay alone and I don't want to be associated with them because most of them are so hypocritical. And then there is this guy who keeps on inboxing my girlfriend so much. And I'm like, God, what should I do with these people? They are so hypocritical, you know. Hey, hey, hey. David Junior, just say nasty. Just say nasty. Because that is the person that I know who has that character. Because that is, is what he was also doing to my friend when we went to, to Nyabohanse during the baby shower. Hey, hey, hey. And when we left there, he was all over my friend's inbox, Instagram. Hey. How, we were laughing. <laughs> nasty. Nasty, nasty. Hey, <laughs> You guy, my guy. And when we talk about it, we are jealous. <laughs> I, <laughs> I just can't help myself but laugh at this. You know, this, they are exposed. Uh, did I go and tell Devi to say that? No, I didn't. Devi just decided to come out and speak about it. And I'm riding, I'm riding along with it. Anyway, other than that, David Jr. was so, so angry with uh, fellow the boy. 
because fellow the boy is the one who recorded the uncle and he even went ahead and called fellow the boy the scammer <laughs> but he said it in um, you know like he hid the name i don't know why do they do that like why do you hide the name if you know what you're talking about is true and you can defend yourself just in case anything happens why do you have to put it in quotes like why don't you just speak the name of the person that you're talking about just out loud and clear do you really have to hide it i don't think you have to you just say it because we all know that it's uh, it's fellow the boy who recorded your uncle okay we don't know the beef but there is a beef somewhere in there which you guys will still expose yourselves you will tell us what is happening between you two poor sana <laughs> you yourselves you will come out and tell us what is happening between the two of you we will not force you you will just start opening up you know david junior did this and that you know uh, fellow did that and that you yourselves you yourself i'll be here waiting to react i'm here <laughs> Hey, you you are even regretting buying land there? You crazy person back in the village, you know. He's a content creator for sure, and he was recording my uncle. Like, um, actually, for him, he's a scammer, guys. You know, he's a scammer back in the village. He's a scammer, you know, back in the village. He's a content creator, and I feel so sad. He's my neighbor, like. I just bought a land or I bought a house next to me, you know, next to me. He's a big scammer, you know. That one is a big scammer, you know, that one. And I was so shocked, someone sending like crazy amount of dollars to him, you know. He's a big, big scammer. So that crazy person, he was recording my uncle and... Um, Guys, you know this content creation thing, it's crazy at times. So that person, he was recording my uncle, my un and uh, he was inciting him. Like uh, someone sent me a huge amount of dollars so that I can buy for him a land or a house, you know? In which I felt so bad, guys. No one ever sent me money. No one, no one. That's why I've said, if you ever sent me money, please, please. I'm ready to be exposed. I stand to be exposed. So that's a wrong person, guys. Wrong person. Like, even someone can ask him, like, where, where is the source of money? Because he makes... Z I want even to put a very big face that... <laughs> You're being so dramatic, Davy, bana. Watch a mambo ya waki yakidem, bana. You're being so dramatic. That is being of a dramatic... Though I'm not saying that what fellow did was good, if it was lies, but for me, for me, this is my own opinion, and I don't care what you or you or any other person says. I think the uncle was lying. No, like I even said it in a previous video, the uncle is a liar. He lied, he lied, and he lied, and he lied. Because as of now, that donor who gave the money to buy that house could have come out and said that... Ma this guy i gave him money indeed to buy the uncle the land but he didn't so that i stood with david jr there and i will keep on standing with him there on that one yes they lied about him there they lied they lied and i don't know why fellow you had to also be part of that because um you you didn't verify that information before you you shot that video that was very wrong it was absolutely wrong of you to do that. Or did you have malicious intent? Just asking. You know, I'm always straightforward and I shoot straight. <laughs> straight. Why did you do that? Anyway, I'm not there to talk about that one, but uh, I still stand with the Virginian that the uncle is a liar. He lied and I will not believe anything that he says. Okay? So, guys, other than that, people went to, uh, what, what is it called? Huh? To Masaimara national park and uh, they had a lot of fun at the park okay so uh, they had a lot of fun at the park and i was like okay um Ro has never ever been taken to uh, any national park in kenya other than being taken to kisumu 
So now is when they've decided to take her to the park. Okay, and then uh, guys, you know where you know very well. It's Uncle Mado. Uncle Mado is the uncle who has money. That is Uncle Mado in Kenya. Mado is money. Uncle Mado is the reason why they went to the national park to Masai Mara, Masai Mara National Park. Hmm? Because Marwa at the moment is trying as much as he can to save money for travel. And you know, unlike previously when he was doing travel for one person, right now the travel commando has to pay for how many tickets in whichever country that he goes, how many meals, and especially now that Roro is not getting any money from her YouTube channel. So the burden to Marwa has increased five times. So Marwa has to save and that is why Marwa has not been taking Rocio to those parks and all that. He's saving for travel. <laughs> that is my own observation. Okay, that is how I see it. You can put how you yourself also see your own point of view. Don't come here start talking nonsense. But you can. I don't care. I'm used to it. So and 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 uh, this is business so i have to expect all that you know it's like uh, when you you decide to venture into um what is it called huh? uh, into business there are very many challenges that come with it okay there are very many challenges that come with it so yeah i'm also expecting that you can come with your own comments i don't care i'm here I will reply to those that I can and I will also block those that I can and I will ignore those that I can. Hey, and guys, speaking of that, anyway, let me just keep quiet for now. <laughs> let me keep quiet for now. Anyway, guys, up to there, I thank you very much for watching this video. I really, really appreciate your support. Guys, remember to hit that subscribe button if you haven't hit the like button also as you leave this video so guys thank you and thank you so much remember we have another video tomorrow same time see ya bye bye